Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're gonna to be crocheting this adorable Christmas tree coffee sleeve. I'll post a list of stitches we'll be using and materials in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed the pattern out for you. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a whole lot and you won't miss my next project. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to chain 35 chain stitches. This pattern is designed to fit a standard reusable Starbucks coffee mug, but you can adjust the number of chain stitches to fit around your mug of choice. For rows 1 through 12, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So that'll be a total of 34 stitches per row. And at the end of each row, we're going to chain one and turn the work around. So rows 1 through 12, single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 34 stitches per row. At the end of row 12, we're going to chain one and cut the yarn with a long tail and pull it through that chain one stitch to secure it. And this will be the base of our coffee sleeve. To create this really cute tree, we're going to cut off a long piece of green yarn or any yarn color of your choice and thread it through a yarn needle. The first stitch will be a straight line from top to bottom for the base of our tree. This gives us sort of a guide to go on where to place the zigzags, as you can see down below in the one that's already finished that I'm using for a guide. We did seven little zigzags, and for each one, we're gonna do two pass-throughs with the yarn to make it just a little bit thicker. So as you can see, I've come up through the right side, and I'm gonna count over the same amount of spaces from the center onto the left side and up just slightly and place the needle in twice. Mm -hmm. 
Although this is not rocket science, it was actually more challenging than I thought it would be. So this next stitch we're going to place in the same width apart from the base, if that makes sense. And the other end on the left side is going to go into that same stitch that we just pulled it out from. For this next one, we're going to start narrowing down the width a little bit. We're going to go one small stitch in closer to the base of the tree, and then the right side is going to go back into that same stitch that we just came out of on the last pass through. And then we're sort of repeating the same step by coming in one small stitch closer to the base on the right and the left side will be going back through the one we just came through. And we're going to repeat this until we've reached almost the top, not quite, so approximately seven little zigzags and leaving enough space at the top for our snowflake star. See how we've left just a little bit at the top so we can place our star in the center. And now I'm just going to tie off these loose ends on the back and trim any excess yarn. I got these cute little star snowflake stars on Amazon. I'll link them below for you. They're wooden and I thought they were perfect for this minimal style that we were going for. The only thread that I had was like this navy color, so it would probably be cuter if you had a different color, but we're just working with what we've got. And so you thread a normal needle with some thread, <laughs> and I'm just going to stitch on this super cute snowflake and make sure that it's really secure.
Now that we've created our tree, our last step is going to be to create a cute seam. Well, I say cute. The goal is for it to be a seamless seam. So we're going to flip the right side on the inside, so wrong side out, and thread that long tail that we left onto your yarn needle. And we're just going to stitch back and forth through each stitch on each side to seam up this coffee sleeve. I pay extra close attention to the top and the bottom just to make sure that they're not pulling apart when it's stretched out onto the coffee mug. Then all we have to do is flip it right side out. I hope you have enjoyed crocheting this super cute Christmas tree coffee sleeve with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.